Hey guys, welcome back to For Real Guide, or if you're new here, welcome. I hope you're all having an absolutely incredible day, or if you're like me, your day is just starting. So if you're just waking up with me, grab a cup of coffee and let's dive into this video all about self-love. But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe so you're always seeing more self-love, self-care videos. All right, without further ado, let's get into the 10 ways to practice self-love today. So the first way that you can practice self-love today is to take breaks. It's really, really important to slow down, to simplify for no one else but yourself. It's so easy to be a people pleaser, to work really hard for your job, to be a really good friend, a really good mom, significant other, dad, whatever you are. But if you're not taking the time to take breaks for yourself, you're going to get burnt out. So that's why I think that slowing down taking breaks is super important so that you can show yourself that you are your number one priority. You can give yourself some rest, you can recuperate so that you can be energized and be the best version of yourself that you can be. The second way you can practice self-love is by wearing your favorite outfit. I love wearing my favorite clothes because your clothes, your fashion sense is an extension of how you feel on the inside. So what better way to practice self-love than to wear something that feels so good, that makes you express yourself, or even just makes you feel extra comfy and cozy. Now, obviously, in certain situations, you can't wear exactly what you want, whether you have a dress code, you're at work and you have to dress professionally, but there's so many different ways that you can add your own little uniqueness, your own pizzazz. Maybe wear your favorite jewelry. Maybe invest in some nice jewelry if that's what makes you feel good and wear it every single day. This is a super easy and fun way to practice self-love and to show yourself that you care about yourself. The third way to practice self-love is to move your body. Your body was meant to move. Whether you're working out, expressing yourself through dance, whatever the case may be, it always feels good to move your body because it releases these chemicals in your brain and in your body that are rewarding and make you feel good. And you only have one body. So why not decorate it with clothes and jewelry? Why not make it feel the best that it can? Your body is a temple, and that's one really great way to practice self-love. The fourth way to practice self-love is to eat the right foods. This goes hand in hand with the last point about exercising and moving your body. If you only have one body and you want to make sure that you feel the best that you can, eating right is definitely one of the best ways to do that. Eating fruits and vegetables, whole grain, low fat meat, fish. These are all really, really great things for your body that's going to give you nutrients and literally make you feel and look better. Eating good food can clear up your skin, can help you keep a healthy weight and honestly make you feel more energized. I know personally when I don't eat bad food, I feel a million times better. Literally, I feel more energetic so that I'm able to go and hang out with friends, to go to work and do my day-to-day -day life activities literally feeling better. The fifth way to practice self-love is to talk to friends. Humans are social creatures, which means we need human interaction in order to function correctly. Having good friendships is so important for your mental health and taking care of your mental health is probably the number one way that you can show yourself self-love. Whether your friends are right down the street or states or even countries away, it's really, really important to be checking up on those friends and having good conversations to keep your mind in check and to receive that affection from other people so that you can love yourself more. Also, showing affection to other people can make you feel really, really good, which in and of itself is a form of self-love. So the sixth way to practice self-love is to practice gratitude. Listen, I know that it is so much easier to be negative than to be positive. I know that it literally feels good sometimes to lean into those negative emotions or to be a victim, to say, why me? Why does this keep happening? It's so easy to do that. I do it a lot. But one thing that I've learned is that when you literally practice gratitude, when you literally look around 
at all the amazing things and people that are in your life and you tell yourself that all the time, you believe it more and more. You become a happier person, a more thankful person for all of the blessings in your life. And when you're more grateful for everything in your life, then you love yourself more. You love your life more. You love the people in your life more. You love the life that you created for yourself. And that is such an authentic form of self-love. The seventh way to practice self-love is to engage in hobbies and passions. You only love once, right? Life is really just a place for us to play in. Some people even call it a game. It's a place for us to be expressive, to be human, and to find what makes us feel good and run with it. Who cares what people think? Who cares if you don't have time? You need to make time for these passions and these hobbies, these outlets to be creative and to have fun. Taking time for yourself and putting yourself as a priority is the most important way to show yourself self-love, and that includes expressing yourself through art or whatever your hobby or passion is. And if you can make that your job, hey, even better. The eighth way to practice self-love is to relax. It's really important to put yourself first when practicing self-love. When you're taking those breaks from work or from friends or whatever you're taking a break from, practicing deep relaxation can help you reset and feel rejuvenated. Whether it's taking a bubble bath or even just browsing TikTok, whatever it is that makes you feel relaxed, it's so important to set aside time each and every day for relaxation. The ninth way to practice self-love is to become your own best friend. Okay, so this one might seem super, super hard for some of you because it was super hard for me. I'm a naturally self-deprecating um, person with some negative thoughts about myself so I would always be involved in romantic relationships or wanting to be with people and if you're anything like me you know exactly what I'm talking about you want positive affirmations all the time from other people because they're not coming from yourself however there are times when you're gonna have to be alone and you're going to have to be your own best friend so you might as well practice honestly your body and your brain starts to believe what you tell it because if you're believing things that are different from what you're telling your brain that doesn't make any sense so your brain starts to understand what you're saying and starts to adapt to it so one great way to become your own best friend is to literally start to pretend that you're your own best friend do fun things that you would do with your best friend with yourself and if you ever have that negative self-talk Ignore it. Talk to yourself like how you would talk to your best friend or to your significant other. And do things that you genuinely enjoy doing by yourself. Look on the bright side and practice gratitude for the things that are in your life that you enjoy doing by yourself. The more you practice at being your own best friend, the more it will literally become authentic. I promise. Okay, so the tenth and final way to practice self-love is to go outside. This is so simple, but it's literally proven that being outside in nature in the fresh air makes you feel better. So it's one of the simplest, easiest ways to practice self-love. Literally just go outside, take a walk around, breathe in the fresh air, look at the sunshine, take it all in and realize what a beautiful world that we have your body's going to feel good, your mind's going to feel good, and you're going to love your life and yourself more because of it. Well, you guys, there you have it. Those are 10 ways that you can practice self-love today. Whether you're going to practice just one or all 10, I promise you, you're going to start feeling so much better about yourself if you incorporate these tips into your day-to-day -day life. If you haven't done already, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and comment below your favorite tips for practicing self-love. Or if I didn't mention some and you have really benefited from other tips, other ways of practicing self-love, comment below and let everyone know. Remember that you are your number one priority and loving yourself is going to change your life for the better. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.